So it's time for the lee boards. Now I was going to, oh, I was going to have the lee boards on their very own axle here, separate from everything else, just so I could uh, have some flexibility as to where I placed them. But I decided for simplicity's sake, you know, for my initial testing, I'll go ahead and just add them to my mast A-frame just to eliminate one piece of hardware to mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put them here on the front. I wanna show you guys how I will mount it nice and tight to my gear loops using this loose rope. All right, so hopefully if all goes well, I'm just gonna twist this rope until it's got a lot of tension on it and then I'll hold it in place. And I'll just use this relatively sturdy stick Keep twisting it one way. You can already feel a little bit of tension building. Obviously, the tighter you get the knot to begin with, the better it is. Less twisting you have to do. Yep, it's really building. This is holding my entire mast on, so I'm gonna want it to be pretty, pretty tight. That's getting there. So now you can just leave it like this. And it'll probably be okay. Well, actually, no, it won't. It'll go flying. So what I'm gonna do is take the stick itself and tie it off to the pole above to keep it from going anywhere. At least keep it from going too much right something like that I don't know it doesn't have to be exact just do a square knot so you can get that out easily now this thing this thing's gonna be just fine for my purposes so my lee board and my mast are both attached here I could have done the same to my steering wheel platform maybe I will in the future I've just got bank line on those joints. Okay, let's get on to the lead boards. What I have here is a simple bungee rigged up from this top hole into one of my, uh, whatever you call that thing, rope, I guess. So I'm going through the water and if I hit something, it'll bump the lead board up. And now what I'm gonna do is rig up a line from this side forward so I can pull on it this way. Maybe I'll put it through the same hole even. Pull here to keep it rigid or pull real hard and get it up out of the water totally. Let me try that out. I think I'll put a pulley at the front and run the lines aft. I'm very happy to have this huge box of pulleys. So I'm gonna find the most basic cheap one and probably use that for this job since it's not really super crucial. Shouldn't be under too much load. Uh, I think a little too much friction, bad angle. Maybe that's not gonna work too well.
see if that's any better. Okay, that'll be enough. Get it off the ground for the most part. Yeah, if you just give it a big, big swing, you can get up there and then lock it off. Okay, I'll go with that. And then you can just give it a little bit of tension to keep it up straight. All right, perfect, we'll do it. We do it on the other side now. Pardon the mess, hopefully you can see all this. Okay, so we got a rudder here. Seems to be working okay. Now our lee board, right now I have it set up kind of like uh, reins on a horse. I didn't have the heart to cut my rope. I don't like cutting rope. So I might just leave it as one piece and uh, I'll have some way to cleat it off. And you got the right, you got the left. And if you just want to be cool looking, you can do this while you're sailing. Get it, get it, get it. Both at the same time. Ah, it's a little bit, a little bit of tension, but I, I think that's okay because you want the bungee to bring it back. All right, that'll be good for now. Just need to clean it off here.